Many of us do not know, but in fact a large number of spices and spices have simply stunning effects on our health, and each such ingredient has its own unique flavor, color, composition of vitamins and minerals, and taste, and in fact not by chance in ancient times spices were valued at the level of gold, and today many studies show, in this video I have compiled just such a selection, so watch the video to the end and you will learn, what is the best thing to add to your daily diet and cooking to live a long life and be in excellent health. Here we go. So, item number one is black pepper, in fact the spice is very simple and is probably in every kitchen, but its popularity and availability does not mean that this spice is useless, in fact in black pepper is a lot of antioxidants that help fight free radicals, and black pepper reduces the permanent microinflammation in our body, and also well-known property of black pepper when we combine it with turmeric. The main reason is that black pepper improves the digestibility of such a valuable spice as turmeric by about 20 times. Another thing worth mentioning is that if we can buy whole black pepper and grind it right before cooking, then it is much better than buying ready-made powder from which many of the useful properties have literally evaporated. The next point that quite logically follows from the previous one is turmeric. In fact, turmeric is a definite trend in the scientific world, because now researchers rushed to study its effect, and there are many interesting very interesting details on the effects of turmeric on our body, so it has been proven that turmeric helps to prevent a huge number of diseases. It also reduces the same permanent microinflammation in the body, which is the main cause of aging and the formation of chronic diseases. Turmeric is very good for the immune health of the nervous system, improves our cognitive abilities, that is, the thinking intellectual. Moving on, the next item is ginger. Ginger is very good for our metabolism and contains a lot of vitamins such as vitamin A, B vitamins, as well as minerals, phosphorus, iron, magnesium, calcium, zinc, potassium and others, you can use ginger in different ways, the easiest and most undesirable is in the form of grated ready-made powder from the supermarket, the best is of course as fresh as possible, say as an option it can be added to cooking, based on ginger can even be made ginger drink. When ginger is grinded, soaked in boiling water and to taste you can add tea, berries, honey and any other additives, you get such a ginger tea drink, it even helps reduce seasickness attacks, and fortunately ginger root is quite available and sold in many stores. The next point is cinnamon, it has been proven that cinnamon can improve our cholesterol profile, and therefore reduce the likelihood of atherosclerosis, that is, the formation of cholesterol plaques, and in addition, cinnamon reduces triglycerides, which also has a positive effect on our blood vessels, reduces sugar levels, not accidentally cinnamon is often added to various health complexes, but then again, as we all know it is much better to get valuable substances not in the form of pills but in the form of live products, and cinnamon can serve as a good healthy substitute for sugar, not conditionally speaking chemical but natural, because it is able to give a special Swedish flavor, which our receptors perceive as a sweet, and another very pleasant effect of cinnamon is its ability to affect our neurotransmitters and their metabolism in the brain, so cinnamon improves our mood, affecting dopamine receptors, so it is no wonder that it is so loved in the coffee in the morning. Moving on, the next item is cloves, cloves have a fairly pronounced and distinctive flavor, it is very often used in cooking, but in this video we are interested in its properties that it has on our body, so first cloves have a very good effect on our nervous system, as acts as a mild sedative, helps to restore the nervous system, cloves also improve blood circulation and help with colds, as they clean our mucous membranes and help fight coughs, and cloves also have antiparasitic properties. But of course it is worth making a reservation that too many cloves are not recommended, it is necessary to add a little, and it should be understood that there is such a thing as an individual intolerance, so a large number of cloves is not recommended for people who have acute diseases of the digestive tract or urinary system. Going further, paprika, the substances contained in this spice can serve as a cancer prevention, also paprika helps to diffuse the blood and reduce the likelihood of blood clots, a moderate amount of paprika has a positive effect on the gastrointestinal tract, it is the only way to get the most out of it, because if we pour too much of it, it can already serve as an irritant, that is, you need measure and common sense in everything, and paprika may also be of interest to smokers, because it contains a substance like beta-tryptoxanthin, and it helps to neutralize a whole range of negative effects of tobacco, and paprika will also be of interest to men because it is a potency enhancer. The next point is of course the famous garlic, it would be simply impossible not to say about garlic, Garlic really has just stunning effects, it has a positive effect on our immune system and reducing the likelihood of cancer with its regular use and antiparasitic and antibacterial properties, and garlic has a positive effect on our cholesterol profile, of course, as I have said many times before, it is much better to use not just dried garlic powder from the supermarket that has been lying.
around for months, but instead it is much better to use fresh garlic, which we have just sliced and added to the cooking, of course during heat treatment a number of positive properties can be lost, and many important components of garlic can die, and from this point of view it is best to eat fresh garlic, but there is one important, but. Still eating fresh garlic, firstly, can be a great stress to our stomach, and secondly, it is well of course the smell. If we live alone and no one to complain then no problem, and if we live with someone, the regular eating of garlic can worsen the atmosphere in the house let's say, so perhaps the best way is to take fresh garlic but add it to the cooking, meat, vegetables, etc. By the way friends, write in the comments and you write what spices and seasonings used, something from this list or maybe something else can recommend. Tell me would be interesting, and that's all, see you soon, friends.